Patriots. Welcome to Rex Pines TV. I'm Bonnie Osan. Please stand for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations, passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may now be seated. Today is Tuesday, May 25th, 2021. Let's go to Randy to see what's happening today in history. Thanks, Fanny. Today in history, May 25, 585 BC, the eclipse of Thales was first predicted by the Greek philosopher Thales of Mileti. The Greek historian Herodotus wrote that the Thales of Mileti predicted an eclipse in a year when the Medians and the Lydians were at war. It also helped us with about knowing about the universe. Now that's a way to expand our knowledge. Now let's go to Scott for the sports highlights. Thank you, Randy. Today's sports highlights are brought to you by the Patriots. Olympic gold medalist gymnast Simone Biles did it again. The pint-sized superwoman made history last weekend by taking the top spot in the hardest vault ever in women's gymnastics, the Yurkencho double pike a move which has never been done by a female in a competition. She raced to the springboard, did a back handspring onto the vault, then a double flip before landing on her feet. Fun fact, Simone Biles actually has a rhinestone goat printed on her leotard, and we think she earned it. Now let's go to Onalicia for the lunch report. Thank you, Scott. Today's lunch is turkey ham and cheese sandwich, sunsplash veggie juice, baby carrots, ranch, Diced peaches and milk. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Vaughn. Thank you, Noah. Scholars, only a few more days left for the FSA. Here are the upcoming May FSA dates. Patriots, the book fair is going on now and will end Sunday, May 30th. Get your parents to join you in searching for some amazing books online while also helping to support our school. Link to the book fair is in the description below. Now to what the weather is going to be like today with David. Thank you, Vani. Today's weather in Pembroke Pines, Florida is forecast to be 87 degrees Fahrenheit and probably cloudy. Looks like the clouds are out, so let's take some time to draw them. Now let's go to Samuel for the joke of the day. Thank you, David. And here's today's joke of the day. What do cats eat for breakfast? Samuel, that was another great joke. Today's birthday girl is Alejandra Santiago. Happy birthday! Let's go back to Bonnie. Thank you, Sonia. Patriots, don't forget your past expectations are present. Present yourself positively, act kindly towards others, treat the school's environment respectfully, and succeed at everything. Congrats to Miss Silvera, Miss Yearwood, Miss Calabrese, Miss Stone, and Miss Newton. You all had the correct answer to yesterday's riddle, which was. When John was six years old, he hammered a nail into his favorite tree to mark his height. Ten years later, at age 16, John returned to see how much higher the nail would be. If the tree grew by five centimeters each year, how much higher would the nail be? The correct answer to the riddle was, it would not go any higher. Trees grow from the top, not the bottom. Now for today's riddle, if you drop me, I'm sure to crack. But if you give me a smile, I'll always smile back. What am I? Again, if you drop me, I'm sure to crack, but if you give me a smile, I'll always smile back. What am I? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 10 a.m. in order for a response to be reviewed. Winners will be announced next morning announcements. Everyone at RPTV would like to wish you all a terrific Tuesday. And don't forget to remember, reunite, rise, have a great day.